my school is basically a dual school in the sense that it is incorporated with another system with um University Autónoma de de Mexico or no for sure <laughs> and so it was kind of it, it wasn't bad it was just difficult because mine is foreign in the sense that I have to go from the US and get my documents from the US get them translated get them get them to UNAM get them to SEP um, basically everything I had to basically go I'm trying to get my listen Duda also validated here but I haven't done it yet um, but I've gone up from my elementary school equivalent of Primaria, that's what's called here. Um, middle school, secundaria, and um, and prepa, or high school, in the equivalent. Um, but I want to get my licenciatura approved, but I haven't done that yet. Um, in the states, it's the equivalent to a licenciatura here. Um, in the states, is a bachelor's degree. My bachelor's degree is equivalent of a licenciatura here. I have one in anthropology and yeah it was difficult and kind of expensive because <sighs> we had to get it translated go to SEP and it was expensive <laughs> like it took a little while because some documents need take time like I had one that took three months to process because I had I it had to process all of them and it took it took a lot of time to do it it was it's the legal kind of thing they have to get it proved see that it's credible yeah and so it's not impossible don't get me wrong like getting um your units from the u.s and then taking them here it's not impossible you can do it it's just it's tricky it's just not as easy as it might sound um and it's a big 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 process um yeah it took me my first year was basically I was I was accepted but I was like kind of in a gray area like I wasn't I was accepted but I wasn't like fully accepted it, it was a gray area because of of that issue it was because my classes needed to be approved. I actually have um, a, for, uh, a few friends who actually had that same issue. Um, I have a friend from New York who actually, she did hers as well in the States, but then did medical school here. And because it was cheaper and basically family. Same reason for me. I have family here, it's cheaper, and I'm actually a dual citizen, so I can actually, I'm not, if I go to the U.S., I'm a citizen there, and everything's cool there, if I come back, I just show my Mexican passport, and then I'm basically good. <laughs> I'm a citizen at, of two, two countries, and it sometimes confuses my friends, like, how I'm able to do that. It's just because family. <laughs> Because my family was born in Mexico before they left to the U.S. Because they left years later, family issues and financial issues that came up related to family. Um, it's kind of private. I don't want to go deaf into it, but it was family, financial, forced uh, move to the US permanently but we've been in the US since the 1800s because my family has a um, a California Republic birth certificate so we know we've been there since the 1800s we just haven't been there permanently like we would be on and off kind of thing but um, after the family issue we permanently and so yeah. um, it's not difficult it's difficult but it's not impossible to do um, to get those documents in 
um, you have to go really what's up, um, go to their website, call them like crazy. It's expensive, it's not cheap, um, it's like, it was like more than 800 pesos, um, that we had to spend, and it was not cheap, um, and that was multiple times, um, and, yeah, and months of work with that, um, but it's not impossible. I was able to do it, um, but it's not, it's, it's tough, but not impossible. Mm. It's just, you have to put your, um, it's, some of the documents that you'll need is transcripts, um, your degree, your diploma, um, few of the things I had to act of and that's mental I did show that um like your birth certificate um there was other ones that I had to show I had to show I know I had to show um a lot of my transcripts like a lot of the transcripts needed to be because they need to um they need to be translated they need to be translated into Spanish if you have them in English you have to translate them um I say do them all at once because we did it in blocks and it became actually a lot harder. So I say do them, just get everybody, get the from the primera to prepa, if you're doing it that way. Um, get from elementary school to high school. It will save you so much time. It was a pain in the butt for us. So I'm telling you as a recommendation, because I did it. <laughs> so I know, <laughs> it was a pain. Later, bye.